everyone. I think that we've all heard that priests and pastors talk about how God has given humanity free will because he doesn't want us to be like robots. Right? We've all heard that. Yet, with the next breath, they will then start telling you what to think, what to say, what to believe, what or who to reject, what to eat and when to eat it, what to be for and what to be against, what to wear, how to act, how to spend your time, money, and energy, what you can or cannot do with your body or with your life, and how you should impose these beliefs onto others. Just like a robot, you are being programmed. So religious leaders expect everyone to act the same, think the same, dress the same, believe the same, etc. And you are expected to follow orders without question, like the people in the army. Just like the people in the army. I don't see any difference. I don't know about you, but this sounds like a robot to me. Religion gives you the illusion of freedom. It gives you, it tells you, oh, you can, you're free to think whatever you want. You have, you have the freedom. God has given you freedom. You can do whatever you want, say whatever you want, act in whatever way you want, believe whatever you want. You know, God has given you that freedom. But that is an illusion. They only tell you that, but they don't really mean it. It would be like a prisoner that is allowed to go out into the yard and roam around freely, but he is not allowed to go beyond the walls that are around him. The same things happens, the same thing happens with the believer. You are told that you have the freedom, but you must not try to go beyond the walls they have put in place for you. They tell you that whatever is outside those walls is evil and harmful. That whatever is beyond those walls is outside of God's will for you and that it will surely lead you and your family into destruction and straight to hell. So it is in your best interest to stay where you are. And I'm not going to say that there is not great evil and great potential for harm outside those walls of religion. I'm not going to say that. Yes, there is great potential for evil, but there's also great potential for good. When you start thinking for yourself and you start making your own choices and taking responsibility for your own life, that is good if you're able to do that. And besides that, you know, there's also evil inside the freaking walls. Just like there's evil outside the walls, there's evil inside the walls. Just look at every religion. Okay, so you are taught in religion to go against your own logic and reason. You are taught to obey orders, not to analyze, think, or consider pros and cons and try to make the best, the best decision. So when the priest or, past, or pastor announces a new rule, now the church supports this. Now the church is against that. Now the church believes this. Everyone now goes home with the same program. And whenever a subject comes up in a conversation, they will say, well, the church is against this, or the church doesn't allow that, or this is what the church says about this. And it's almost as if they were proud of following orders, as if it was a virtue not to think for yourself. And sometimes when you push them a little harder and you say, well, what do you think? I'm not asking what your church, what do you think? They'll either dance around the question, they won't really want to answer it, or if they say, well, this is what I believe, but this is what my church says, so I'm going to go with that. And I'm not just saying that you should reject something just because it comes from your church. I'm saying that if what the church believes is better than what you believe, then go with the better option. But if what you believe, you consider that it is better or more moral, than what the church believes, then I'm asking you to go with that option. Also, you are taught to question and doubt what you think 
or what people with different beliefs than yours think, but you are never to question what the priest or the pastor says to you or to question your own holy books because who are you to question God or go against his will? That's what they'll tell you. Who do you think you are? Do you think you know more than God? Do you think you know more than me that I am the representative of God? And so they make you question your own sanity, your own reason and logic, even to go against your own compassion so that they can, you know, tell you what to think. They want to tell you what to think like a little robot. They're trying to program you. If that's not brainwashing, then I don't know what is. I am not against rules and regulations, just to make that clear, because they help us live together in harmony. What I am against is people telling you what to think instead of teaching you how to think, therefore creating the robots that supposedly God is so against. So anyways, this is it for today. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.